Uh, hello, it's Joel again. Uh, just wanted to go over some uh, other brands of cars that I have in my collection. Um, so I hope you like it. I know it's pretty much one-sided because uh, I like Chevrolet. Uh, so, of course, that's the primary brand that uh, I'll collect. Uh, but there are a few Chevrolet castings that I enjoy more than others. And uh, chiefly the Chevelle. Because I have one. Uh, of course, the majority of the Chevelles I find are um, they're, uh, 1970 models. I have a 71. Uh, I like the uh, Impalas. Uh, when I was a lot younger, I had a 65 Impala. Unfortunately, uh, the car got totaled in the fire. Uh, I also like the 58 Impala. Uh, I've loved that car ever since I saw American Graffiti and Ron Howard driving it. So, uh, have some 58 Impalas, and uh, I have some other uh, General Motors cars, uh, like the Bel Airs, uh, even from the uh, the early 50s. Um, so, what I have in this case is uh, pretty much Auto World, and some M2s, and. Uh, the other brand, I think, is uh, Racing Champions Mint. <clears throat> so, uh, Auto World and the Racing Champions Mint, they're the same company. It's the same company that now owns Johnny Lightning. So, uh, you know, not to uh, make this video terribly long, I'm trying to keep them down, because I know that in the past they've been kind of long. So, let me uh, get started here. Study the camera. All right. Uh, I believe a lot of these have opening hoods. Not an opening door, but this is a 1966 Chevrolet Impala Super Sport. And this here, I believe, is Auto World. I do believe this is an Auto World car. Honestly, I can't remember. Okay. This is another. Impala. This is, I think, a 1970 Impala or a 69. And I think this, yeah, this is Auto World. I can see the symbol. Okay, if you can see it like right there. And uh, let's go back and check this one real quick. Yeah, this is Auto World too, so I was right the first time. Yeah, so I think this is a 70 Impala. And these cars are supposed to be true uh, 164 scale. Okay, here's an alternate paint color to the, uh, the red 66 Impala from Auto World. some uh, 58 Chevys and these are M2s um, this is their inexpensive line um, that comes into a single blister uh, usually hanging up uh, but it's still got a uh, real rider tires and uh, but it's got a plastic base but uh, I like the casting and this is a 58 Impala And again, these are supposed to be true 164s scale. There is another M2. This one has opening doors and an opening hood. This one here being the less expensive M2. Uh, it doesn't have any opening features. Okay. Uh, the higher premium that comes in the little box, they have opening features. 
Okay, so this is the Miller 58. Guess what? Another 1958 Impala. Uh, this one looks like the hood opens, but it doesn't. I think this again was the blister pack one, inexpensive. So, but when you have them right next to each other with the with the higher end and the lower end cars, you can't tell the difference. Cause look how the hood is. It looks like it opens. It just it just can't shut. That's all. Here was another blister pack, lower end, 58 Chevy. This is like a satin purple with a black roof. Here's something different. This is, I think, a 1953 or 54 Chevy. Okay, M2. 54 Chevrolet Bel Air. It's got a lot of nice detail. Straight six. With the little markers in the back. I think that says M2. Really like that one. This is a 1960 Impala. Opening hood, straight six. This is Racing Champions Mint. Again, same company as Auto World. So. This is slightly bigger, and it is an M2, okay? Uh, this is the 1957 Chevrolet. It's a 150 scale. No, I'm sorry, not 150 scale. It's a 1957 Chevrolet 150. I apologize. And this is an M2. Um, this is a particular series. I can't remember what series, but this is kind of bigger than... You know, the regular 164. So this is actually bigger than 164. And the tires are real riders. These these are slicks. Okay, but they're real riders. Goodyear. Blown engine. I like that one. <clears throat> Here's an M2. opens this door opens I don't know if the hood opens it's a 1957 Chevrolet wagon and it's a two-door I thought originally it was a four-door. Anyway, it's a two-door. That's nice. Sort of a realistic color, too. Black, basic. With just uh, poverty hubcaps. So. <clears throat> Keeping with the Chevys. This is Racing Champions Mint. Uh, well, I don't know if it's mint. Um, I bought this, and it came in a blister pack type deal, um, I think, if I remember. I bought it off eBay. Uh, hood opens. Uh, doors don't open. I 
think at one point uh, I might have had a uh, this side view mirror there. I guess it didn't realize it and I accidentally broke it. No, that's a shame. Um, number 480. Mm, detailed engine. some GM cars that are not Chevys. There's a Johnny Lightning and this is a Buick T-Type. Opening hood with the uh, V6 engine. Here's a Pontiac Auto World. Uh, I believe this is a Bonneville. I think the year of the car is on the license plate, but I can't read it. And so it's early to mid 60s. Opening hood. Doesn't quite stay up. Pavement Pounders, and this one is an Auto World, and this would be a Pontiac GTO. Nineteen sixty nine GTO. I really like the wheels on this. They're different. So this is a pavement pounder for this car. This car has a lot of weight too, so. Um, this one is more of the 164 scale. This one is still, this one's still bigger. This one might have been the, uh, on the cheaper end, like the, uh, the 58s. But this one is the uh, ground pounders, I believe is what they were called. So. <clears throat> and now for some other good stuff. Well, good stuff to me. I hope you like it. Of course, it's not all GM, it's not all Chevys, although a lot of it is. Okay. I have some Volkswagens from the uh, Auto World. Not Auto World, I apologize. M2. Okay. So, I forget what these are, um, what they call them. And I can't see it underneath, so... I'll watch the video later and see if uh, I can see it. Okay. Uh, these came out a couple years ago. I'm missing something here or it just happens to have the same back so you could put something else there that another vehicle has so I, I honestly don't remember I think it takes something that you could put something else you could put in there <clears throat> this one's a set in red and black and white I'm sorry not black and white well the, the tonneau cover in the back is white and this is a 1959 VW. This is a sixty one. This 
comes in 60. This one I really like. And this is a 1962. And again, uh, all these VWs I'm showing you, these are M2s. <clears throat> this one I had a little mishap. And I'll have to get some glue to glue the, uh, uh, the boom back into the, the back, into the bed. But this was a tow truck. 1960. So, I'll put that back up so I don't lose it. <clears throat> Here's another uh, 70 Chevelle SS. I'm sorry, this is a 72. Wow, that's a 72. I forgot I purchased this. Um, can't remember if this is uh, Johnny Lightning or not. It's a 72 because I could tell from the, the front uh, lights. And this is the uh, Black Bandit series. Uh, Chevrolet van. So this is green light. It's another green light. And the 72 might be green light too because the base is kind of a Construction seems similar, not the design. So this is another green light with the Texaco. And compare it to the uh, DM2s. So there's nothing back here. But This one was really neat. Okay, and this was a uh, green light, and this is a 67 Impala uh, police car with the cherry on top. This one I really like. This is, I believe, a 1964 Impala. Okay. Opening hood. No opening doors. And this is a uh, Racing Champions Mint. Okay. Let's see if you got a good look at that. Another Racing Champions Mint. And this is a 1955 Chevy. Opening hood. No opening doors. Generally don't collect uh, Pontiac Firebirds, but I, I kind of like the pale yellow color on this. Uh, I don't know what year it is. It's, uh, my guess is 76, 77. There's another one with uh, the actual... Uh, Phoenix on it. And 
then I have VW Bugs. These are M2s. Opening back, but with the bumper, it makes it difficult to open. But it's very delicate back here. So I don't think I don't want to force that. And the front opens. So that's an M2. And this is a green light. No opening pieces here. It's a metallic. It's either a blue or a dark teal metallic. Another green light. This one does have an opening back and an opening hood. Uh, I don't want to open it back because the bumper gets in the way, but you got some nice detail in there. With the luggage rack on the roof, it's kind of neat. Like I said, the back opens, but I don't want to take a chance. And uh, I like the white walls and the uh, hubcaps on this one. And this one almost looks like, you know, projects in progress. This looks like the previous one, except it's uh, in need of work. So, one looks like the finished one after uh, being restored, and the other one looks like the one that needs rest restoration. It's kind of neat. Got a lot of nice detail there on the back. That's all those markings is part of the uh, the design. It's not from uh, storage or anything. And the last one, this yellow one. I like the wheels on this. Give it sort of like a racy look. And uh, the front opens. Uh, the back will open too, but again, the bumpers get in the way of these. Oh, this one did open. Okay, so. So that's it. Those, that's it for uh, some non. Um, Hot Wheel, Matchbox, this is the M2, and uh, Green Light, Racing Champions Mint, and Auto World. And uh, thanks for looking. Uh, please uh, comment, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and uh, anything that you might want to see. If I have it, I'll get it, or show it. And... Uh, I hope you subscribe, so uh, please take a look. Thanks.